welcome back to what is no longer a showdown, but we are still on the south coast. And here at St Mary's things have been mixed and we are paying the usual price for being our level, but in Europe. Today's game, we're back in the Champions League and it's a game that could potentially get us through the group phase. So let's see if these Saints can go marching on. Right, here we are. We are home Dinamo Zagreb. Now, those of you with uh, longer memories will remember that about three years ago, we stole half of their youngsters. So they're probably quite keen to take some sort of revenge on us. Um, it is our sixth Champions League group game. I'll just show you how the league has been going since uh, the Bayern Munich game. Uh, we beat Brentford, um, threatened to throw it away, having taken a comfortable lead. Our under, well, not quite under 21s, but a heavily ro rotated side just about squeaked past Hull on penalties. Then Fulham did what Fulham do. They are the new Watford. Uh, white is the new yellow, apparently. And you might remember last season we got stuffed 4 0 at home by this lot for no apparent reason. Again, this was a game that, I mean, several people didn't play well, notably going forward, but the defence wasn't that bad. But they scored a couple of goals, apparently Livakovic presumably had a stinker, so they beat us. Then we went to the San Siro and finally lost the Champions League game. Uh, we held on until quite late, but they were just better than us and we did not play well again. It was a back-to-back -back terrible performances. And then went a nice little run. Um, Crystal Palace, we scored early. They had a man sent off. They were never in it, really. Wolves comfortably cruised past. Very good performance from the lads. Uh, Real Betis, again, good performance. We scored. They equalised right near half time, but then we took the lead again and uh, saw it out. So four wins out of five in the Champions League. <sighs> then a trip to Goodison, which we took the lead. And pretty much the only highlight that we saw for us. They scored two goals in a minute from crosses. And it was just really annoying. We had another off day, especially at the back. Uh, this game was dull as you like. We had one highlight, I think, in the first half. This goal by one of the most annoying players. Um... 90th minute as you can see it was the only Spurs highlight we saw all game we didn't see one from us in the second half it was that bad a game but another cross that got headed in and then we followed that up with honestly I thought this was going to be a defeat because Newcastle are currently actually top um, on goal difference I think they were second going into this game and this point has taken them to the top but again it was Nothing going on up front, but solid at the back at least this time. So, a point that I was happy to take. All of which brings us to um, the league table. We're 10th, slightly above mediocre. I mean, we're not in any danger of slipping down. We've got a 13-point gap on, on the relegation places. We need to start picking up some wins to try and get back into these European places. However, in the actual European places... As you can see, we are fourth with a game left to play. And we've got to finish above 24 to stay in, basically. This little section here just skips you around. Anywhere between 9th and 24th, you stay in, you just have to play another round. And you can see we are six points clear of 20... Well, actually, you know, seven points clear of 25th. So if we take another three points... No one below there can catch us. Enough waffle. Let's get on with the game. Now, I don't think any of the players we stole from them are actually in this lineup. This is pretty much as strong a lineup as we get, with the exception of obviously we'd rather Vitor Roque was starting, but he's literally only come back into training like yesterday. Um, apparently, we're favourites, although the fans didn't seem to think that. Um, the result was going to go our way necessarily. 
Well, that's that annoying music waffle got out of the way, which, unfortunately for you, you won't have heard. I have to sit through it every time I record one of these things. Normally, if, if I'm not recording it, I will just carry on and it's playing like sort of 10 minutes into the game. I don't know if there's an option where you can switch it off. Right, slow start, boys. Very slow start. Mm, I have to demand more from you in a minute, although that seems to have evened out a bit. Right, well, let's encourage first. Come on, lads. We win today, we're through. At least one round. It gives us a really good chance of getting, you know, top eight and having a bit of time off someone in February. Just imagine not having to play two games a week for like a whole two weeks. Mm, oh, no. This is, oh, this one's going on too long for it not to be their chance now. The game just loves to torture you. Oh, Play it into your own net, why don't you, Livakovic? This has been a shoddy start. A really shoddy start. Forsic. Isn't that the one we actually did sign from them in real life? Right, why can't I shout at the boys again? Ugh. Right, I am definitely demanding more now. This is unacceptably bad. Shout. Demand more. Why are they outplaying us so much, boys? Right. Let's shorten the passing. Dribble less. I want you to put together some passes. You think you can do that for me? Passes. To people in the same coloured shirt, preferably. I mean, we might sneak through based on other results, but I'd rather go through on our own merit rather than be completely outplayed by a team we're supposed to be favourites against at home. Right, you're getting berated now. You have done nothing. You deserve nothing. I'm getting fed up with this bloody team playing just mediocre, pointless, useless football. I'm not even playing football. Picked up a little bit there. Oh, don't let them score a second. You are not coming back from two down. All right, come on. Work it out. Okay. Right. If we could get out of this little corner, they do seem to be pressing us quite well, but worked a bit of space. Oh, there you go. Go on. Oh, what is that? That's all that for that shot? Really? It doesn't even qualify as a highlight, does it? You've been terrible. Come on. Sort yourselves out. An annoying thing is, the forwards aren't actually playing that badly, apparently. It's just... I mean, look at this. Look at this momentum thing. It's terrible, boys. Oh, yeah, Sheldrup, who for some reason has the constitution of a bloody newborn deer. Right, demand more. Just because you're putting a little bit more effort in now does not mean I'm going to let you forget the first half. Right, Balogun, you've been absolutely useless. Come on, Vitor. Save us. Save us from ourselves, Bella Kochap. You keep on bleating about playing time. I put you in and this is the result. Right, let's see Tarlo can go in. Might actually have come from Dinamo Zagreb. <laughs> Frustrating beyond belief you are, boys. You really are. Right, I mean, Trouble Shoulder was not having a bad day. He's just knackered, isn't he? We'll leave him on for a bit more. He's the best talent we've got out there, let's be honest. Right, come on. Oh, for God's sake, we start with the ball up there and you do that with it immediately? You didn't want it back, doesn't mean that's acceptable behaviour. Just stop giving them the ball. You won't have to win it back if you stop giving it to them, will you? Oh, all that and that is going to be their chance. Oh my God, can we just... What is with these highlights these days? It seems to delight in taking a two-minute highlight for no apparent reason. We could have started this a lot way a long further. Oh, God, how do you not finish that off? How do you not finish that off? <sighs> right, let's get Aribas on, because Sheldrop is about to drop dead any minute. 
Um, and we'll get Lavia on for this also. Come on. Attacking. Um, is there anything else we can do as far as, I don't know, opposition instructions or something? And I mean, what are we doing as far as these are concerned? God knows, it's an absolute mess. Um, okay, that's made the corner of the screen freak out, so I'm going to stop doing that because it doesn't seem to like it. Right, let's demand more. Come on! Put some effort in. You've played well second half. I'll grant you that. But we are not going to go through if you keep on losing games like this. Oh, we must have had a massive chance there. Come on, at least rescue a bloody point. Don't lose to this lot. This was one of those games I marked out as distinctly winnable. Go on, Vitor. Finish. That's why we need him back. Thank you, game. Thank you. Right, while you're showing that replay, I am going to slip this back to positive and confirm my changes. Oh, right, is it a torturous late game highlight, or are we going to somehow pull this off and come back and win? Or indeed throw it away. Oh, JWP, you've got to look up and Play the pass to someone, not where you think someone might be. I have to say, sacrilege though it may seem, um, I think we are looking at the, the twilight of James Ward Prowse's time here because. Oh my god, it's off the post! Oh, we so nearly stole it. Turn around, Valeri. There we go. Come on, get it back in there. Oh god! No. Oh. No, this is going to be an end. It's just something's happened, but oh. Yes! Vitor Roque, you beauty! Oh my god! Uh, right, is, uh, I'm not going to do anything there. Oh. Avia, Aribas, Vitor Roque, three substitutes combined. We are through in the Champions League. I mean, it looks if you if you hadn't watched that game and you just saw these stats, you'd probably think, okay, they got out possessed, but it looks like you know they created a lot of chances, they did well with it, and they got the late goals they deserved, but. Can we honestly say, hand on heart, that we should have won that game? I mean, we came perilously close to deserving to lose that game. But Vitor Roque did what Vitor Roque does. Here is the Champions League table as things stand. Oh my lord, Manchester City is still 28th. Barcelona are 30th. Ooh, oh good, Celtic are 25th. Couldn't happen to a nicer team. But there are still two games left, of course. However, the fact that we have now 15 points means we can't finish below 13th. So in that other round that we'd have to play if we drop into this section, we would play one of the teams who finish from 17th to 24th. Although, being that Manchester United and Bayern Munich are both in that group, although, you know, We've beaten Bayern Munich. They're no threat. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna hurt me later. So, next time, FA Cup and a trip to the new camp. But that's it for now. A lovely dramatic finish to that game. And a win that frankly didn't look likely for most of it, did it? But thank you very much for joining me. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.